game. It's cleaver time. Those little hooks there were a little meant to tease you. Why Prepare are you making that battle. face, by the way, as if I'm lying? You know Clockwork's my most favorite. Yeah, I know. It's just the one who was like, oh, yeah, I love my Clockwork. Clockwork's so good. Oh, my Earth Spirit's so good. And let me tell you, your Earth Spirit's so bad here right now because I can make it work. <laughs> you know? <laughs> why, why am I talking about SVG all of a sudden? That's so weird. I couldn't spot SVG to start talking to you. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this draft coming out here, not, not the best coming out from each. I mean, Meteor's draft can kind of work, but I'm not a big believer in tiny support. I've seen it before. I think one thing that I will caveat for LBS, LBZ guys winning this, they can't play like they did in game. They absolutely cannot take a 3k lead at 5 minutes and a 6k lead at 10 to 12, and then just nothing. This is not a draft that will reward you for being too passive. To like, yes, you've got Doom. Yes, you've got SF. But you have the slush deck that wants to take that early act and wants the bloodstone so you cannot sit around on that here, Mike. It's so, I mean this game should be I feel like because last time around like the TA just got to the 25, had a billion refraction charges, just kinda of burn through them. This time around you don't have such a hard channel toward the SF I'd argue, so um, the other idea is even if you did the TA, you had less rack to get to this time around, but you know? No TA. That's fine. Banner and Wise is going to be a super two trade. Very even start between these two teams. Of course, last game around, I suppose one of the big factors as well, which is something we haven't talked about, is why I was playing off lane Masky. This time he's playing position three two, which I argue is somewhat more impactful, right? Because the mask is just so hidden. It's either it does extremely well or it does nothing. But I don't, I don't know if it's really more small last game, just because they. They literally did not play aggressive for the most part of LBZS, except for clopping down bot and away from the TA when it was vulnerable. So maybe it's just more of a team decision. And hopefully, again, they play through the trends of this Doom. In the main, it's, it's kind of a rough, it's pretty passive. You're just going to be farming up against NP for the most part. And you, you do cross the free line, so again, PV's not going to have an easy angle to just they end some hits, play with the minus armor you're getting from the Blights or the Levon. It's empty. At the time, you're not really gunning for a kill opportunity up to your top, so... Dyer's be a static farmy lane, and as long as TZY hits his minus, I'm pretty happy about that. Let me so. Of course, that mid lane Dolphin gonna be against Bless. Track versus Pango matchup. It, it should favor the left track, because kill potential isn't as high as you do have the Flush Bucket to walk away from the... Little engagement flash can go for a meanwhile. And the lane mar blues going for Radiant's a very long pull on the time. And Korea tree pulse very that. impressive there for Mar Blue. I'll give him that. That was the bottle gone as well. That's I'll massive take that. for the tiny. He's just gonna pull this creep wave and go for a double. No one's stopping. Like you, you don't really you could run up with Walk well, He does have a creep wave. Drag into the tower, but he's not really dragging to tiny. And Marvel is going to get a lot of the XP. This is one way to enable that cost for tiny. Just play a lot through your so off as much as you can. Not the DP can kind of hold solo. There's not much kill threat from the SF when the clock works kind of far away from that act. So just build up and avoid that lane, which we did see come out early on for LBZX. They did have a lot of kills coming out there. Uh oh, Asus has been given the creep wave, but may cost him his own line. None of the cogs are failing. And we'll survive, and like you mentioned, a lot of the XP on the way. Has been killed. Oh, this guy is tied down to the bot lane as he finds another courier. Just these, these tree tosses. That's his second courier already that you, you found here for Mar Blue. He's more than happy. He's getting his impact. He's being a nuisance in lane. He's supporting the XP out from the Level 3 now in the DP. Level 2 spirits have been ready. He has a talk back to be a kill trap, but it's run down that in a little bit. Back in the plane for a moment. There is a courier back in the open, so he's going to be able to get that bottle on the brown boot. You know, while I think there was a bit of slowing down here for Dolph, it looks like he's still been able to maintain his CS just fine. Does have those items up that he was lacking just a moment ago. Still a, a fantastic way to come. And he can't take that right, can't take away from him, but it doesn't seem like Blefix had, you know, the highest impact due to that fight. Exactly. 
Oh, this is the tango into the shrek. Radiance middle oh. tower is under attack. Oh, just be nah. ultra aggressive. Yeah, it's a really rough lane for busting. You're just gonna have to cop the hits, try to get as much aggression as you can, creating hits with squash, and fall. Not be on top of that flesh anytime soon. The good news for me, Judo, is Boom's lane is looking to be tasty. And, and he's not being zoned out. He has a lot of good damage to get onto TZ Wire. There's not much TZ Wire. And Helios can really be able to stop that. And you're just fine. Your MP is going to hit its own modest timing rather quickly. What? And you can just follow the map from there. Connect with the MP, connect with your uh, Pangaloo. You're going to ready to roll around. You have that mid game momentum that you saw. Need your play around it so well in game two to kick in here again if you don't keep that in check. Do you ever feel yeah. like Mida should just be deleted as an item? No. Like, for the sake I, I of feel speed? Like no. no. Oh, I love him, so I'm gonna let him go. It... Oh, what do you want about Midas, Mike? What about this? I mean, it's literally just an item that allows you to farm more gold. Like, it's... You know, it, it's, it's one of those items where it's like, what does it actually do for the game? Well, you know? If, yeah, well, if you're winning, you win more. If you're losing, you try to win, right? That's, that's the kind of mindset, I although I'm just from behind. I could, that. I could say that for any item, though, John. Right? If you're winning, you buy a monster, you're going to be winning even more. Yeah, but you're not going to be winning more than you were in terms of pure farming compared to Midas, I guess. Maybe. I'll see a oh, yeah, it's probably better farm. <laughs> it does take some time to move. It, it's really good on XP. And then here it's like Nature's Prophet does want levels up fast, so we are just attempt to rush. It's just down spikes, set pressure across the map. Anything for Duno, you just trying to get your levels in farm. But it's good that these that just want to chill back. What a lane bit of aggression here onto our fox. He's going to be just fine. Well, mid lane left is going to be chased down by Dolphin. Dolphin's not going to try for a split earth, just going to chase him down for a bit of harass. Obviously, he wants to zone him out as well for that the power rune. And he's going to find a very nice Radiant region for himself. So let's track. You couldn't really ask much more with the left. That rotations, that's what you could ask for. Got them here from Helios. Let's see. Got the swash away. Going for the going, and it's going to be barely enough. Bottom lane, Molasses is the one who steals first blood. Down the bottom work eventually. Really sad for as they were basically one right click away from securing first blood themselves on the tank. Yeah, great little roll. That's coming into bailout. But it leaves an opening a bit. You've got the level 2 of all the edict. Short work for you. Mass EPs to stop this, but now it's just a. Breeze away from dying. He pulled on to it for a moment. Breeze up the side lane. Monte is going to be a lot comfort far from that. The beast is not going to have follow through. Do himself a He's pretty happy knowing there's a trap on his life. You're going to get chased down here by Dolphin. And TV's gone. Not much in terms of spotting banner up for Warriors of the Wood. Go down. Is <laughs> like Dolphin's actually going to rotate up? Oh, perhaps. See, he wants to go for it. Like, right, I mean, he yeah. could rotate into the nature's profit to the T1 tower. Not the worst side here in the world. They've got the net ready for some hold set up. The only thing you don't really have the set up, but he TP's out. He walks under three vision. He just builds out. And uh, he walks. And it's just kind of, he's going to have to just settle. But not the biggest tower to the top, but we'll open up the jungle. A lot of some avenues to the farm, Dyer's season fly, and under Fonte. It doesn't take too long when you've had your three fours for this push. But living up, it's going to do a little bit, but the Diamond is just going to get through it. No problems here for the left track. Uh, there's going to be easy around. It seems like they're just fully committed to this. They're not going to back off. Easy has revealed that he's around the area, but they're just not going to waste any time. Meet our bottom lane, you can lose that block. There was the high fire for T1 Tower, and they're pretty much going to go for the exact same play. T1 
while mid lane. They are still trying to chase down this Angolin, but Blessing is going to be able to get the Rolling Thunder off, oh. but does not get the with all. Radiance bottom is trying to leave the in this room and actually get to the with it. Elion's a little bit too late to the party now. He's going to end up giving his life away with it. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. A little bit trying to deny that off. Still looking for the top of the Dolphin. Doesn't quite happen. Find two support kills for themselves. Freebies coming up for the tour. Radiant is nice. Roll the box. Bit dangerous. Roll on me, Ron. That'll do the trick. The lunch is there. Clock again going to be in trouble. The structures are full. Now run. The glasses should be able to cut him off. Okay, still can't see what the swash buckle don't have. But the open. Open. He's the big target. That's the one you really want to spread right. And he is going to. So guys, being chased down as well. So busy. Falling apart in this mid lane. But Dyer's. For the DP, with the perfect rotation, Radiant now to enable them to go after this team on mid tower. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. They've got space out, they've got the damage. Exo is going to fade. That's just bump. But mm, around, it does have flex to contribute. A little bit of blindness armor, but it's done. They can't camp this push. Is under attack. Out of LPZ, yes. I mean, we're seeing the same pattern the game two They are wanting to farm. Their SF and okay, do, and even their Lesh, you know, even Dolphin wants to build it up into the blood first. So it's a little bit awkward. Oh no, Dolphin. Oh, oh, no. We lost the Q on QA, and he's just dead. That's really rough now. Radio Gaming finding a secondary kill on Dolphin just as he TPs. You kind of ask yourself, like, what was the intention there? Like, is it the deny of the tower really worth it? I, I don't think so. Well, maybe it's easy. I'm not going to get spotted out. That is up the veil of for a TP play out, and he's barely going to make it. Just really. Yeah. Feel that nick of time. Don't want these farming here to die. That makes me a little bit happier to call these pops all the attention. It is coming at a cost. Power spike for the left is going to be held back. It's only real. Three heroes ready to play right now from LBBS. So, Shrek or Rubik and our Ponte. FF is not going to contribute. Ponte just wants his build up into Master Please Madden. here. Still need a Midas to come out from TZY. So, a more passive game. A passive game that Meteor are able to use against the side of LBZS. For LBZS. Not the worst thing in the world because they are 3k behind. Their lineup does take a little bit more time to come online. It's just you have to see them understand, recognize, and play around their powers. They just keep this game. It's going to be pretty similar to game two, not going to lie. They just play a pass of all game like this, and well, uh, Meteor should be able to run you down if you don't find the timing by Pull roots and run! It's going to be stolen by Heavy Austin. That's going to buy him to try and run for it. His grasp is gonna catch him, so it seems like he's had enough. He'll just send the tree into him. That's a very nice body block. So, hey, but the thing is, if he was still here, he's still off completely. He's like, he doesn't have the time for this. He'll just run back towards the jungle. Well, why not? Yeah, yeah, better than some just watching Rubik fall and get that build up on the SF on the Nature's Prophet. And the side of Meteor, and they're just able to do so much more with a little bit of a Takes so much more activity. Key timing now for all these yeses is the TZY, Bloodstone, and maybe a BKB after Dolphin. And if you can hit that tackle, that's when Meteor can get shoved back a bit. But say that, they've got the Midas in the Hellstrom on. Mm, he's just farming. Uh, hey, he Again, he was winning. He's winning even more with a meals from now. It's all winning, Mike. We're looking out. Fun time here from the game. It was almost like a repeat of game one. For a round of game two for LBZS. Yeah. One thing is still yeah. hitting creeps. Still having a great old time, but nothing's coming out of this. It's just gold coming into the SF. Dyer are Maybe scanning. just because they're not against the TA later, they think they're going to have enough. Work. They know the SF's around. Look at the player to get some vision on the blessing. Now, I'm still patient trying to use Fontaine's bait for someone to try and move in. 
Nothing's come out of it. Spontaneous feeding creep. Just kind of poking and prodding at each other. If you feel like you did want to commit here from Meteor, one additional gear could probably help me have these skills. Side of LBZS are playing a lot of high speed. Well, you're, you're just fine. You're, you're feeling an mmm, farming quite simply on blessing. Yeah, fusel blade too far away now. He's going to force that from glasses. He holds some greaves up. Sure, bullet from. Kind of ready to go if we want to. Excellent for this, but he's right by the T2 tell. Literally right next to the X. So, I mean, it's going to be a bit of a farming X, though, I guess. That should help! The still crits warm away very nice in the Riddick, but yeah, farming, uh, farming X is his hit. Uh, molasses. I'm still thinking if he thought he was going to get away with the kill, I think. With the yeah. shot, I suppose. Hey! Just... Right. Come on, something. Uh, even even if your head kind of feel like maybe you want to get some action down for the pressure tier two. Yes. The blessing with a haste room. More than happy to keep taking the hit. It's down on the other side. Rubik's still caught but still alive. Rolling Thunder gonna be forced to take this. Meanwhile, bottom side look like they twin up bombing TZY, but he just TPs again. Nothing to cancel. top tower is under attack. You're not going to have a great chance yeah, that just either bumped. until, say, this full blade near or, you know, just getting out of level 20 tall with the leash. Just there. And not the biggest boss in the world. You do still want to try to find some punishment on the TZY. It does help in that cause. Side of the TZY, yes, they've got Bloodstone at all. They are already smoked up. This is what we need to see from all the They would have smoked up. Got the Pango with that Doom. Dolphin's trying to catch up to the Pangolier. Should be able to get there rather soon, as now they have the setup with the Infernal Blade. And, well, that's just going to be a uh, blessing. Oh, pretty big pick up there for TZY. Rather top lane, however. TZY, or the TC, ends up going down. Reku will be forced, and that be the TP up for our SF. They don't lose too much. Two for nothing. 16 minutes in almost. Meteor Gaming, an incredibly good start, but slowly kind of allowing it to go back the way it'll be easier. Yeah, just get the farm game going. Right? Like, they're, they're waiting for Dyer's a bottom tower is under attack. ready to jump into these team fights to commit with full Gleipnir. He's being worked on as well. They are not really playing around Blessing all too much. I feel like the pump-up has to start coming out now from Meteor Ascent as... This is kind of window where strong. Dyer's bottom fight tower is Expo under attack. Onto an objective. Run from there, but LDS has been pretty good and just seeing attention else. They have been installed quite nice here, at least, you know, preventing that build up. Right here. Yes, sir. They'll lock him down. Start is there as well. He's actually got the liquid available, but nearly trying to run the bomb team down. Bar uh, blue now. Gonna be changed. We'll get to work on the Helios. We'll make oh, another move. Definitely one of those things. Even as a set, he has a clean one. He just can't find his blind one out. What was he it missing? I'm not sure. He's like Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. No, no, it wasn't missing. I mean, I was 100 percent sure he'd yeah. have one. Yeah, then what well, well, this mistake? We could go for a hurricane, right? which isn't too bad. I don't want to get that early on. Except we're, we're just find his own way out. Radiant's middle tower and is under meteor. attack. And they're playing around their own spike wall. Talk about timings here for LGCS. Yes, the blood is one key thing. So you need the BKB up on TZY as well, and you're tied Dyer's into the Doom cooldown much more. So attack. your uptime for aggression LBZS is a lot lower. Your uptime for Meteor is a lot higher. So we think she still have it. Right here is up. Close to there. Monty's gonna try mana. The third one's holding down. Eventually, it will double kill once again, going the way of Meteor Gaming. Dyer's bottom tower. The top back is a little bit awkward at the start, but maybe back towards that D1 tower of the Dyer. 
3k advantage now for Meteor yeah. Gaming. Everything is going their way, and now the SF just it doesn't play without any income. And yeah, Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Yeah, number two. farming in well. Although not as well as the MC we just kind of even up here almost with a better core except the MP. Yeah. We need to this investment pay off. EKB time comes out. Something has to happen. Without anything else, just EKB massive man is not that this will have to have on this hero and run forward. Like Dolphin, he's had what so he has the yields up now. He's stacked around by a moon here. Doesn't quite look like anything silly with a great new player. Warriors of the Wood! He also has his spike right now on a blush. We've seen him make some plays on the map, but he's back just farming bot as we saw in game two. I'm not sure what Shrek's going to to scale up on, but. Not here. So let's go. What's the benefit for now? That's Swash, but not be able to get a good time. Two more walking down. Here comes the number to try and help out. They may have gone a bit too far this time around. Yeah, we'll be there to try and allow the profit out there. And Mar Blue is going to move in along with Molasses to try and onto Helios and TZ Fly. The Bond Gate is more than happy to keep the fight going. Nice cogs out as well. Lock down the TP. Mar Blue will drop. Molasses is still trying to move forward. Also locked down the left track, so it's open now. As the one that's overextended, the square earth will land and he will go down. The uh, looks like there was a bit of a chase happening here from Moon, but it's not stand up. The others, it started off really strong for OBZS, but ends up quite poor. Loser Lash, one here at that. It's like it's kind of getting their most the tempo for them right now. That out of the picture with the Doom committed, you know you've got an angle back in each your in that engagement. Kane as well. Or I'll find the blessing. And for LBZS, I don't know, it, it feels like the team repeat the game too, where they're sitting back the time around though they did not have the lead. So it's fair enough to say that alright, they're not the lead, they have to play a little bit safer, alright, fair enough. Climbing up. And 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 just hit these timings. So with the BKB blink ready on TG high, see them constantly play around that blink, play around the doom, starts to go for it. Ah! <laughs> you're, you're starting to build up very nicely here on Nutrius, on BKB, on Monte at least has an early BKB. Now we need these three chords to connect. We have to see them play with these strengths here on LDS. That's their way. I wouldn't be surprised if Peter just does what he did. Whatever he did there, and just kind of write his game out. Yeah. I mean, that might be his play, honestly. But give him a proper new record of things. You're more than happy to drag the game out as, as long as humanly possible. It's gonna be a smoke. Lime's gone out through the mid lane. They want to go past that T1 tower, apparently, try to find somebody in the dire jungle. Well, the Miz. Um, Blessing. It looks like they will try to make this up in the side. Blessing is a rebel with the rocket on the run of the rolling thunder. We won't throw it out. The bar blue will drop. They even turned up now. This is a much bigger one. The one is it's spirit side from the rolling thunder from Blessing. It's gonna allow them to run out. Radiance bottom is under an opening. The OBZ has to finish off the mid to on that one. And that they will. Even with the living armor, they'll get to Dyer's middle tower has fallen. That allows him to immediately pip it for the Prashan. Rounder time, it's a lot better here now on LBZS. Yes. They get a doom up on top of He got his BKB in time, chase his off. That just needs some help to finish off the Lotha Bow. Mark Blue is be around, TZ there to help as well, and it seems like TZ White is the one that they have extended. Keep the fight going. It seems like they do. Overflip is there. One can pull down. Fetching's doom is set to fall and will do the last. And so will the Rubik. No escape. He will drop. Helios is gone. And it was a nice start. Like he found the profit. He makes the jump in. But the problem is that he came off too quickly. From mm, and after like you get the doom off, but you've got zero follow up to him. And you can't do anything down to your team with Sean as well. Well, ZS, not the best pick of the ages, but that one felt a little bit disconnected. 
a bit too confident in trying to go for the solo top. Oh. <laughs> that was cost him in the end. Three man stunned by the neutral creep right there. Just one of the biggest play in this game so far. I'll tell you, on radio gaming getting tracked up there by our. <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope <It's> so. <laughs> Out of LVZS. Question now here, Mike, is whether or not he can make something happen with his Aegis. They've got the guess. They have the top huge and take over the top jungle. Cut off a little bit of farm with the kind of massive, quite ridiculous fast. Just take control of part of the map of themselves now and just do the see that. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Yes. Right now, not quite connecting. Offense oh. kind of just being tied down here on mid. And the thing is, they've got so many close to the net worth of, of our profit. Like, he's just. He's freely farming his way to a Daedalus now. Radiant's bottom <laughs> tower is under, under attack. Of the Leshrac who's second in net worth. I mean, LBZ, everyone else in LBZS is quite strong. Like, they're all the second and fourth in terms of the net worth graph. Radiant structures the main are problem. fortified. It's a matter of when they catch him. S5 and take him out. Lesson's going to be scattered down in the tree line. We'll go for the roll Radiant's up, but doesn't have rolling thunder. We'll just blink. We'll shut off the mark. That's a hard one, to be fair. And LBZS are actually Radiant's about to bottom tower away with this top T2, but now they're going to rotate it. So they have to cancel those TPs because they kind of rotate outside of the tree line. <laughs> I still have the extra to play with for this push here. Radiant's bottom tower yeah, as though is under attack. Yeah, there's no TP to talk their heroes. They know they can open it, and they fortified. have to run back to the fashion world. Dying Who's got a TP? One, two, three, are they? None of them have got TPs. Ponte, literally all other players do not have TPs available. They all have to run through the TP. This is the TP tower is actually just gone. Keep going. Ponte has been caught up by the Glade He pops his BKB, but he's down. No, he has to get this at least. There's no BKB to play with. The last he will find. He comes the rolling thunder from Helios. Maybe they could at least find a TP. They got the time. They'll catch the lasses. They give up the two three battles for this. They give up the ages. You got a decent fight going your way, though, Beast. Yes, that's not. And you got some big kills. Massive streak on the lasses to peek out there. And you hold on to the rack, so. You hold on to the important check, it's not, not the biggest deal. Oh, yes, you're gonna have to keep a steady eye on that bot lane. Otherwise, you just get a 10 minute. They weren't really playing aggressive. That's not bad. take for the safe fights, but you're not in any risky position. Where you're like, oh, yeah. uh oh. Wait, he's going in deep. Oh, my God. Oh, we have breathing by himself. Uh, uh, he can be there if the pop up stuns. Blue's gonna try to help. Start away, toss him out. And he's still trying to run. He can run from Ender now. You've got TD around the corner. You're not gonna pop it, and he's just dead. That's the highest they're worth for that. And he's just dead. And he purposely picked him alone. So he didn't get caught out. He just. He just. The blind. Molasses? Molasses, he's in nothing but a goal right now. I mean, he lost the streak earlier, but he's still worth the mark. Hook got off the mark, but what does it matter? Molasses is gone. He's he's gone. But blew my pick up. What the hell's happening? Three. Three down for the side. Uh, 50 or carry. I don't know. Dyer's I, I have There is no explanation for this. One of his moments in Dota were like, uh, what just happened here? Now, why did this NPT and try to solo an SF? Can I get a replay? Uh -huh. I, I actually did not see the, the random TP. But I'm so confused to why that happened. He legitimately, he legitimately just TP'd on. There was no vision scroll. I thought it was a So it's just TP'd in. Right by the tree line. Oh, okay. So yeah. 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 got the rolling thunder. Get this condition. Jump right in. Easy kill for him. Dyer's bottom Suddenly, you give them the network and the way of LBZS. Dyer's bottom they're, they're pinging that high guard. They've got some quick high and they want it. 
Goes over the keep and right down. They are to find the Pango. Who is there? He is just gone. Oh, he will start for Lee. They can deny him off with nice hook shot. This one really is a tough one, he will die for this. They are to keep him on the tower. It is just melting. This is without the left track being bolted. It's just melting. Now, bit again. We go. One time for the little escape with the cannon. TZ will go down now on the tree. That's what is coming for this bottom racks. And I can't believe I'm saying it. The LBCS. The front of the game is seen. He's going to jump in. On the front. On the doom. It's like the TZY has gone. Raindrax to fall. Fontaine going to turn around with the red cream now. Backing up the DB. Molasses trying to run. Is not going to get out. Opal will have his number. They get away with the rain tracks. That's kind of about it. But it's a hell of a lot more than they should have gotten away with 10 minutes ago. A tie to the Impurity. Yeah, they, they make sort of a big opportunity in the set of your thing just rush in one by one game out, but one tiny over play from hmm. That's that just help. sets the tempo back up as he gets this way. So that's that's a bit of a different one from game two at least. You know, I'm sure just kind of getting too gun hat gets punished. Top tower is and now, obviously, yes, well, we're at the point where your Doom is going to have Octopus and Sudan Rabbit and Vapor. The uptime on Doom just becomes a lot better. He's got Picking and Charm on top of that. A lot more activity for LBZS there. Monte is much more willing to join these fights as well. With the BKB and the Soul Ridge, he is, yes, going to be scared of Deal with the TA. We have a level 20 town from Doom, uh, but the whole leash doesn't do much when you've got a calling blade and a path along it. You have angles to kind of deal with. Actually, you're going to that full breaking fight on Monte anyway. Side of Meteor Gang, I mean, it, they're not completely out of them yet. They do have to watch themselves when they play yeah. that aggressive. Radiant's boss is quite a sheer on the side of the PC as it's time. The hell of a series between one racks up, I suppose. One rain racks up here. Oh, yes. Roshan obviously is extremely important this game as well. So, two minutes to we see the next Roshan read. This is all off the back of a round and TP into the mid lane. Big knock TP. This is Nico again down a bot lane. They'll try and spawn A. This is up on a by Helion. He's there. He does have overgrowth. If Nico does not connect with that, they are just out of it. Meteor Paming. Had they found that kill, they might have been able to force high ground. There was a bit of my back available on day. But with the back off Helios, he's going to be just fine. Ow. Disconnect coming at the meteor. LBCS onto the high ground. Oh, not going to take the town to have a Fonte. Can't really do much about this. Mm -hmm. Dyer's and middle back. Well, first I suppose, but... That will be And so I did LBCS. Well, they could gun for the end game. Dolphin is going for the tier 4. So trying to figure out the racks down as well. Ball. Ah, they're going to go for the main. Go for the safe play up here. We've been thinking of chance. Literally be like they're stealing this game away. I mean, medial gaming, they it's not like they should just have this on the back. They're a ridiculous game number three here, but LBC obviously proving to be the better team. It's gonna be the mega creeps and stuff. in, Mark has been caught out now on the phone. He's rolling thunder again from Heli. Very annoying. Heli will just pick up a new kill the Rubik now. Towers, I mean, they are economist. Unless he's gonna try to rush in, the force of time to try and join his team. Rapier is dead. He is doing a lot of damage onto TZY. What's the man? Molasses will chase down as well with DP. Everyone's still fine as they are gonna back in on this low track. Dolphin, though, he's a tanky boy. 
No one's running away from Skull. Silence him up. He won't commit the Yules yet. Eventually, he will do so. Northman, still running. Just can't be taken down right now. Well, turn back in onto Molasses. He's down. Hook shot. Is there a goal? Right off the TZ. That's a tricky call. Out of he is just there. That's Blessing. Oh, poor old Blessing. He's dead as well. Please, he gets. Now, a 5v2 situation. Only one buyback of that for Blessing. And I do appreciate the fact that this pilot has highlighted these hook shots done much more accurate this game would love to see. <laughs> Radiant Circle. Oh, they good. They, they put it a lot better here. Yeah, they, they did good. Good end. Is it a meteor? Um, well, it, it all stems from one tiny mistake, right? Sometimes the game of Dota is created by those tiny mistakes. You give an opening, you have the lead, and it just goes your enemy's way. Small death like that and just comes tumbling down with it. It's Cleaver Time!